New rules for thousands of homeowners who have to raise their homes. Now, several South Shore communities have banned a certain type of foundation. News 12 Long Island's Andrew Anger has that story. The scars from Superstorm Sandy run deep for Eve Huff of Lindenhurst. And you can never replace the things that you lost. Let's face it, never in a million years. But now, three years later, Eve's home stands a story higher than it used to be on wood and concrete pillars. Most of her neighbors have also elevated their homes, but haven't enclosed the ground floor because New York Rising wouldn't fully pay for it. She says the exposed so-called underbelly of the home could lead to frozen pipes in the winter and is unsightly. So, I mean, it's, you know, there's no storage, there's nothing, you know, like us too, look at the mess. Every time you're looking at a mess, because that's what it is under there. I got beach chairs, it's a mess. But now several villages and towns on the island have changed building codes, banning open foundations on raised homes. The move, officials say, is to force New York Rising to pay for the enclosures and to also make neighborhoods look better. Even though I think a lot of people talk about aesthetics, I'm more concerned about the money than making sure people get the money they deserve. But there are some Sandy victims who have rebuilt and want to keep their open foundations open and not close them in. It's just better designed to have the water just go right under the house. Heather Hortzman says she shouldn't have to be forced to enclose her open foundation. She adds homeowners should be given a choice to enclose or not. If it's your house, you should be able to design it any way you want. Now, town officials say New York Rising has indi indicated to them it will pay for lower enclosures if it is required by a local ordinance. Now, News 12 has asked to confirm this from New York Rising. However, it has not returned our calls for comment. Stone? All right. Thank you, Andrew.